Welcome! My name is Henrik. I'm also known as the Swedish hockey card collector. This week, Börje Salming died of the disease ALS. He was one of my big heroes and role models when I grew up. It's been heartbreaking to see Börje suffer. It's amazing how Börje found the strength to go to Toronto to be celebrated one last time. The warmth and love he received in Toronto was among the most emotional I have ever seen. In this career and tribute video, I will do my very best to honor Börje Salming's memory. Börje Salming was born on April 17, 1951, in the small village of Salmi in the north of Sweden. The largest town in the area Salming was born in is Kiruna. Kiruna is a mining community located above the Arctic Circle. Salming's father was a miner and he died in a tragic mining accident when Börje was only five years old. This must have been terrible for Börje and his family. The nature around Kiruna is very beautiful in the summer and many Swedes go there to hike and enjoy the untouched nature. In the picture you see the Lappporten, an amazing rock formation located about an hour's drive from Kiruna. In winter this area is freezing cold and the sun barely rises above the horizon. Not far from Börje's home village, the famous ice hotel that you see on the pictures are built every year. The reason I choose to start the video by showing the area Salming grew up in is because he was always very proud of his origins. It also highlights the big difference in lifestyle that Salming experienced when he moved to Toronto. Börje started playing ice hockey in his hometown Kiruna. In 1970 he joined the SHL team Brunas. Salming played for Brunas between 1970 and 1973. He won the league championship with Brunas in 1971 and 1972. I also want to pay tribute to Börje's brother Stig Salming. Stig also played in Brunas and was a very good hockey player. Stig Salming won six league championships with Brunas and played 94 games for Team Sweden. Börje was signed as a free agent by the Toronto Maple Leafs on the 12th of May 1973. Toronto also signed Salming's teammate Inge Hammarström that same year. Inge also did well in Toronto but went home to Sweden again after a couple of seasons in the NHL. Salming, on the other hand, stayed in Toronto for 16 years and achieved legendary status. In 1989, Salming signed as a free agent with the Red Wings. He played his last NHL season in Detroit. Salming then played three seasons with Oiko in the SHL before his career was over. Sal Ming played his first NHL game with the Maple Leafs at the beginning of the 1973-74 season. Toronto won against Buffalo and Sal Ming was named the best player of the game. Before Sal Ming came to the NHL, the prevailing narrative was that Europeans didn't have what it took to fit into the tough and fast North American game. Börje's talent, hard work and great performance on the ice changed these preconceived notions. It also changed hockey forever by merging the European and North American playing styles. 
One of Salming's biggest moments was the standing ovation he received from the Canadian audience in Toronto. It was before Team Sweden's game against USA in the 1976 Canada Cup. In Sweden, we then also understood how big Salming had become in Toronto. During the 70s, Salming was selected to the NHL's first All-Star team one time and the second All-Star team five times. There is no doubt that Salming was one of the NHL's top two-way defenders during this period. During the 80s, Börje was no longer as prominent in the NHL and his offensive numbers began to shrink. Despite that, he remained a very stable and important defensive player. During his years in the NHL, Sal Ming had a lot of injuries. The worst one was when Gerard Gallant accidentally cut Salming's face with his skate blade. I think Börje got over 200 stitches and cosmetic surgery to restore his face. I remember seeing horrible pictures of his face in the Swedish newspapers. In 1988, he became the first European-born and trained player to reach a thousand NHL games. Sal Ming was celebrated in Toronto. Börje received a car that was driven onto the ice during the ceremony before the game. It seems logical that the first European to establish himself in the NHL also became the first European to reach a thousand games. Börje Salming played a total of 1,148 NHL games. He scored 150 goals and 637 assists for a total of 787 points. During Salming's 16 years with the team, Toronto never reached the Stanley Cup final. Salming played 81 playoff games and scored a total of 49 points. Börje was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1996. Toronto Maple Leafs retired his jersey number in 2016. No one can question his status as a true hockey hero and legend. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you for watching this video. I would love it if you would share your memories of Börje Salming in the comments. To the next time I see you, have a nice day and take care.